Hey, comrades. This book is called Passover by Miriam Nerlove. It's time for Passover. The story of Passover began long ago. In Egypt, there lived a cruel pharaoh. Pharaoh gave a royal command. Jews must be slaves across his land. He said to Moses, I'll never free your people from their slavery. One night, the Jewish people fled. They had no time to make real bread, but took the unbaked dough instead. What did that dough become? Matzah! Moses brought them to the sea. The waters parted. Could it be? There you go. Then he led them far away to freedom, what we have today. On Passover, each year in spring, we remember all these things. Grandma comes, then Uncle Lou, Aunt Maxine, and Cousin Sue. That night we have our family Seder. We'll read and eat, then read more later. I ask four questions and we look for answers in our Seder book. The Seder plate is filled with food to help explain our thankful mood. Matzah, flat and crunchy bread, recalls the night our people fled. We eat it when the blessings said. Sue and I get tastes of wine, but mostly grape juice as we dine. After dinner, the hunt begins. Who finds the Afikom and wins? I look behind the swinging door. Huh? Sue finds it in a kitchen drawer. I open the front door in case Elijah comes to take his place. Then we sing Passover songs. I know some words and sing along. It's really late, but that's all right. Tonight's a very special night. And that is all. So I hope you enjoy your satyrs as much as this kid did. <laughs>